Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have something essential to discuss with you, one that can cause frustration for many iPhone or iPad owners, the dreaded this Apple ID is not active message. If you ever encounter this error when trying to sign in or access your Apple services, you know how it can disrupt your digital experience. However, put all your worries aside, as in this video will guide you through some practical solutions to fix this issue effortlessly. Let's get started! The notification this Apple ID is not active typically appears when there is an issue with the status or validity of your Apple ID account. There can be several reasons behind this error message. Expired Apple ID if your Apple ID has been inactive for an extended period of time, Apple may simply deactivate it. This can happen if you haven't signed in or used your Apple ID account for a plethora of time, typically after a year of an activity. Incorrect password or security questions If you repeatedly enter an incorrect password or fail to provide the correct answers to your security questions, Apple security measures may lock your Apple ID account. This is done in order to protect your account from unauthorized access. Account verification process Apple may deactivate an Apple ID if the suspect unauthorized or suspicious activity associated with this account is detected. It could be due to security concerns, fraudulent actions, or violations of Apple terms and its conditions. Most times, if we find any of these abnormal in our cell phones, we give a trial of restarting it, but if you are greeted with this Apple ID is not active and verification failed, this Apple ID is not active error, then it's worth giving a trial of restarting it as a measure of the quick fix. To restart your Apple iPhone, you need to long press the lock button or the power button on your device and until you see the message, swipe to power off. Once the device is completely turned on, release the power button. Afterwards, simply restart your device after a while and then you can check whether you can use your Apple ID account on your iPhone or not. The second tip will deal with the resetting your Apple ID password that can sometimes refresh the authentication process and resolve account-related issues. If you remember the password from your Apple ID account, you can change Apple ID password in settings of your device. First, launch the default settings app on your Apple device. Then find and tap on Apple ID menu. Then find and choose Password and Security option. In this section, tap on Change Password feature and enter your passcode to confirm your selection. Now you can enter your new Apple ID password and re-enter it again to verify it. In case if your Apple ID password is lost, then you can use the following tip. Simply go to the official iforgot.apple.com website and click on Reset Password option. Next, enter your Apple ID account and verification code to continue. Then the notification will ask you to enter the link phone number that is connected right to your Apple ID account. After proceeding with that, a message will pop up on your device and you can set a new password for your Apple ID. For the next tip, we need to ensure that our payment method associated with our Apple ID is valid and up to date. If there is any billing issues with our payment method, then it can result in deactivation of our Apple ID account. To update your payment information, simply follow these steps. Open the settings app right on your device. Then tap on your name. Next, find and choose payment and shipping option. Here, if you need to update the billing information of an existing card, tap on the payment method and then proceed with edit button. Finally, you can enter your new billing information and then tap on done button. Last but not least, if you still encounter the issue of this Apple ID is not active, then we recommend you to use any unlock utility to fix this notification issue easily. With the help of any unlock application, you can easily remove Apple ID from your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch if you forgot the password from it or cannot log out 
manually. Now let us show you how to do it. Simply follow the link in the description to download and run any unlock application right on your PC or Mac computer. Then connect your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to it via USB or Type-C cable. In the pop-up dialog window, find and click on Unlock Apple ID feature. Next, click on Start Now button to remove Apple ID from your device. Afterwards, wait patiently till the whole process is completed and then you can set up your iPhone, for example, as the new one and use it without any error as you've done before. And here we go, just so simple as that. Hope that all the tips were kinda useful. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel, like this review and share it with your friends on the social nets. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Peace.